everyone. I'm Christina Dandar of The Potted Boxwood, and I'm very excited to be here in Brooklyn, New York, with Kelsey Brown, who's the founder of Pepper Home, one of my favorite textile pillow uh, curtain and shower curtain. <laughs> thank you for having us. Of course, thanks for coming to New York. Oh my gosh, this uh, you're in for a big treat today. Tell us, please, about this beautiful brownstone. Yes, yeah, so this Italianite brownstone was built in 1856. It's one of the oldest brownstones in New York. And I instantly fell in love, as you'll see, with all the detail, all the history that has been preserved for 200 plus years, uh, starting with these beautiful copper railings that were actually once stolen and then brought back to this property hundreds of years ago. Oh my gosh, I couldn't imagine. But I love the color it's beautiful. and it makes a great entry. Out of one of those quintessential New York movies. And so is this have multiple, like a brown, most brownstones have multiple resonances in them, correct? Yes, there's few that are single brownstone units and then ours was split into different co-ops. Wow, this is unbelievable. Okay, so tell us about the inside here, I love it. Yes, so the reason I fell in love with this apartment is the amazing plaster molding detail. I mean, you cannot find this wow. today. This was added in 1890, 1890. Um, 1890. And can you imagine somebody on scaffolding doing this by hand? No, no. And that's oh. also when they added the fresco painting to the ceiling. Little cherubs. Do you know the Which, artist at all, or it's, it's just unknown? But I do know that it was added in 1890 wow. after this house was built, and then part of the inspiration for the color of the wall was actually from the sky of the mural. So oh, it's a nice juxtaposition that. between modern while still respecting the history and I think that was a lot of the inspiration behind how we decorated this home. Well, um, you'll see it's a lot of new, old, and then a lot of the antiques are from different time periods. No, they're absolutely beautiful. And just to see the molding like this, I mean, you don't, you can't even replicate this if you try oh, it would, these days, it would, or it would cost a fortune. It would cost an actual fortune. Yeah. Um, but it's just, it, it's been preserved so well, which is a true testament of the prior owners that have lived here. Have there been multiple prior, prior owners? Well, since 1856, uh, <laughs> uh, but the family that lived before us lived here for, I think, about 30 years. Okay, so, so long it's time. It's longevity. And you have a daughter and a dog, right? I do. And a husband. Yes, I do. <laughs> that couch is my dog's favorite Aww. lounging area. I love this. Um, and these are amazing chairs. So for those you. of you that don't know, Pepper Home makes beautiful custom shower curtains, drapes, and pillows. pillows. Yes. And they do such a great job with their patterns. So I know we're going to see quite a few in oh, here. Yes. So this is actually one of our new fabrics that is launching this spring. Um, it's a chenille jacquard and it's coming in three different colorways, but I love this pink. It's like a geometric yeah. print that feels young, but still can blend with the classic elements of this home. Um, so and then also in this room, if you have like a 1970s coffee table mixed with some uh, older elements. I loved this painting. Um, actually, my husband and I discovered this artist on a honeymoon in South Africa wow. and been following him for years. And I just, I love dramatic modern, modern art, art, which you will see. Which plays um, so well against the pretty paneling in here. Exactly, in exactly. And I think the other thing that you'll find in a lot of brownstones in Brooklyn is a lot of people whitewash them and make them super modern, super white. And we took a different direction. I obviously love color, pattern. So each room is sort of a different jewel box no. with a different uh, color palette. Different palette. I love and it. And, so, and you, did you use an interior designer? Did you source a lot of this yourself? Or Yes. Yeah, so I worked with Nicholas Obed on this project. Uh, I knew him through our Pepper relationship. He used to do all of our product photos and we collaborated on this home and it was a labor of love. A labor of love. You have and beautiful then, art. Oh, thank you. So this is our lovely gallery wall. This is actually a lot of my artwork from high school and college, actually. Really? Um, yes, I studied engineering and art. Very so, left brain, right brain. <laughs> um, and then it's photos from our different travels throughout the year. Oh, wow. 
And now, I do you that. help? Obviously, you're the creative brain behind Pepper Home. Do you help create a lot of the patterns that you all use? So it's interesting. So I have a co-founder, Erin Banta, and we do a lot of the pattern creation together. It's a very collaborative process where we come up with the inspiration of the different collections and the direction we want to take them. And then we go out and find artists that we love, we love their work, and we think fit that mold of that collection and then we work very closely with them to develop the patterns um, and then I handle all of our manufacturing um, and our website our customer experience and then a lot of the developing of the color patterns I do well, which, I can tell you using that color. art background more yes. than I thought I would <laughs> yes I could imagine okay we've got to talk about this fireplace I'm imagining <laughs> that that's original this is original it had that little strip of pink tile and it fits perfectly with our color palette Honestly, which with, especially with your I new couldn't have, yes yeah. I couldn't have uh, picked it better myself but there's actually four fireplaces in this apartment wow. and they're all original all original to the house I mean really so, the blue color couldn't be better and then I these I recognize this so this is pattern yes yeah, so <laughs> this is one of our new patterns that's actually launching in April um, which it's more modern, which I love. Yeah. Um, and then we're launching this new pillow size, which is great for low pro profile couches like this one. Um, nice and simple. And then I actually commissioned this artwork from an artist out of Atlanta, Amy King, or sorry, Annie King, Annie um, King yes. and gave her the color palette of the room. I loved a lot of her other artwork and I think it helps bring the whole room together. Um, Especially with this rug, I love this yes. rug. Fun Turkish rug. Actually, Nicholas found this on Etsy. Etsy is a great yes, source. I tell great people source. all the time, don't discount Etsy. You can find some amazing things. And I think we wanted to create sort of two different living spaces out of this room. So a more formal section that we use for entertaining, hanging out on the weekends. And then this is our TV room, if you will. Right. Uh, this is great and another pepper, another pepper pattern, pattern over there i love the fringe detail on this oh thank you here. this actually this chair has been in my family for maybe 30 years and has had so many lives so many different lives <laughs> that this mm. is great and then mm. Immediately, you're sort of you're transported in here to just again a beautiful fireplace and then the moldings I mean, yes and i think i should show you oh these yes. original pocket doors <gasps> wow which came in uh, super handy when we were uh, house training our dog. We used these okay. as natural, <laughs> to walk, to natural beautiful up. barriers, uh, good for child safety mm. as well. Um, but I love having, I think if people think of like a formal um, old school dining room, but this is really where my family eats almost every meal. We have friends over. It's really the heart of the home. Um, do y'all love to entertain? We love to entertain. Yes, we do. And it's funny, these these china cabinets, they yes. were also original to the home. Wow, look at all that and glass. I love using china as a decorative object as well as a practical one. Absolutely. Especially um, if you're going to have fun dinner parties. Oh, of course. And then again, there's the detail on here. I mean, you can't replicate this. No wonder you oh, fell yes. and just head over heels. The floors, floors, even the inlay. And was this original? Yes. Wow. Yes. What an interesting pattern. And the, the bar oh. cart. This is pretty stunning. Tell yeah, us it was, what's, <laughs> how did you find this one? This was a find, I believe, on first dibs. Um, wow. And it's actually it's goats dyed goat skin underneath and then lacquered. Um, goat skin. Yes, but it's very rare to find a green bar cart. A yes. lot of them are glass, um, but I think it really fits in with the whole room. And then this artist, I actually have two of his paintings, um, Bill Tainsley out of the Hamptons does these. And I love his work and the use of the palette knife and all the colors, I yeah, love it. Yeah, I love a good texture on that painting. It's amazing. Now, I think what's so unique about this dining room is how you went with different colors yeah. for the chairs, kind of in the same palette, but I love that. Classic process. chair with a fun 
fun little surprise like little to bring all the colors together. Modern um, twist, and it's exactly. great. And so this is something recent. So Kelsey's yes. Beautiful Home has been featured in Architectural Digest, so it's just an extra treat to be here. But before, there was a wall here, correct? Exactly. So this used to be all blocked off, and then these two doors here used to lead to the kitchen. And what we did was we opened this up, created a beautiful arch, which I think just enhances the molding at the top. We did not want to get rid of that. Mm -hmm. And then we turned this doorway into a coat closet and that doorway into a pantry, oh, which was smart. a really fun yeah. idea and gave us a lot of storage, which is hard to find in the city. Um, and then I just, I love a green kitchen. Mm, There's something too. about it. And I wanted something that felt classic and not too modern that stuck out sort of well, like a sore thumb and blended in and after testing 50 different colors <laughs> of green, we came up with this one from this is Faro the, and Ball. Oh, what, what, do you know what it is? It's Oh, I would have a, to get it for you. <laughs> this is one of the most beautiful green paint colors I think I've ever seen. Oh, thank you. No, I love it. Truly. It's almost like a, new, an, a neutral. Neutral, it like is. it blends okay. in. I just, I love it. And then we did these custom uh, window panes, as you can see, and this actually mimics the china cabinets that were put in in the 1800s. So we wanted to blend the whole room together. That's just so creative. I mean, I, I love that you kept it in line with the history. I think so many people these days will come in, and we were just talking earlier, and make things yes. super modern and whitewashed, and yet it loses its architectural kind of gravitas. Exactly. I mean, I could see people saying, oh, we don't need china cabinets, but I love it. It's a, you can, display your artwork of China, if you will, and there. Obviously, um, I love a La Cornu stone. Yes, that was my request, even though my husband is the chef, not me. <laughs> um, for purely aesthetic reasons, our one request is we have a warming tray up here, which is a very functional oh. need with children Absolutely. and crazy schedules. And, and can then, we talk about these? Yes. Oh my gosh, I love these. I found these, I believe, on Cherish, and they're Art Deco. I love the subtle pink. I just fell in love with really them. Beautiful. And what a lot of people, I always say this because my bedroom lamps are from Cherish. You can negotiate on Cherish. You can. That's the way to do it. I, you can. <laughs> yes, you can. Um, I would say a large majority of this home was decorated by Cherish or Cherish. First Dibs. I think they're just such excellent resources. And you have, you can find exactly what you're looking for. And this, there's so many options. Beautiful countertop stone too. I really like that. Thank you. Oh, this is amazing. Okay, okay. and so then we kind of walk in here where yes. I feel like your eyes immediately drawn. <laughs> this is yes. stunning. So this is our sunroom. It is, to the name, the sunniest place in the whole home. People actually think this is wallpaper, but these are painted <gasps> stripes. Kidding. So there was painter's tape and every single one was hand painted. Wow. Labor yes. of love. But I love it because it feels just fresh, warm, inviting, and a little funky of a space. And we this is a nice like breakfast area. I sit and do work here a lot I actually. Say, I would use this all the time, especially because oh, yes. you feel outdoors and you painted the floor as well, right? Exactly, we did oh. with that high lacquer paint. What an amazing chair here. Oh yes, I love the peacock 70s chair. And I, and then, I this is fantastic. Thank you. So the the tapestry actually oh. my husband and I purchased that in India when we were there for a wedding a couple summers ago. Wow, this just really is beautiful. And the and banquette. Then the banquette cool. is custom. It's actually leather. And Nicholas picked out the exact raw hide to use on that to make it match everything perfectly. No, it's And fantastic. then what we did during our renovation was this actually used to be two smaller windows and we opened it up and added like the more modern black windows to just let as much sunlight in. I think you find that in brownstones, it gets, it can be darker because you only have two sides True. of windows. So as much light as we could, we wanted to let that in. I feel like there's so much light in here and I think it helps to that you have such a great use of color and, but yeah, you didn't paint all of the brown wood, you know? Yes. Yes. We wanted to leave some of it natural. I think it's nice to get a flashback into what it looked like. And I love how this pattern matches the pillows on that lamp. That's great. 
And so we can, if you want, I really quickly want to ask oh, yes. you about this fireplace because I know we kind of skipped over it. This, um, the details on here are just remarkable. And did it already mm -hmm. have the mirror? It was that yes, all that was original? all original. I just added the nice classic peacock fire screen. That's very neat. And look, it has, for those that, just to see up close, has the Florida Lee in there as well. So and then you'll beautiful. also see, I love obviously colored glass, ceramics. I'm a big La Double J girl. Mm. Yes, that looks beautiful on that pedestal. Lovely. Mm. Well, I guess we'll Perfect. go downstairs. I love your daughter's artwork. Oh, yes. <laughs> I love displaying her artwork. Well, maybe she'll love art as much as I did, um, but she gets very proud to see it on the well, wall. Well, we can't miss in here though, right? Okay, Correct? yes, the little jewel. The jewel box. Hatter room. Oh, goodness. It's I love doobly. this coral color. It's just so unexpected. It really is. I, it's even prettier in person, honestly. I don't even think the camera does it justice. <laughs> and what a cool piece of art. Oh, thank you. That was also found on our honeymoon and we thought about it for three years and then purchased it. Purchased it. I thought it'd be perfect for this room. It's always a fun surprise. Yes. And I like exploring different types of media and different types of art techniques. Because you and have then, an art background, that's right. Yes, yes, so I studied art and engineering in college, which is an unusual an combination. An interesting combination. <laughs> Um, and then all these an lights in here are antique. I was about to say, these... Yeah, um, I love antique lights. These are <laughs> unbelievable. You do such a great job of collecting and curating you. your spaces with just a lot of um, kind of charisma. <laughs> Thank you. If you ever need a good uh, electrician to convert all of these from European sockets um, to US... You, you have a source. Yes, I have a source because this whole house, I think, is antique European lights. Okay, and now we are heading down the stairs. And this yes. is just such a fun surprise down here. Yes, yeah, so this used to be a library. And it was honestly kind of a sad space that was sort of forgotten. And what we did was we painted all the bookshelves this chartreuse green color. So I then added the stark rug. It's nice and Comfy, and this became my daughter's play space. We got a perfect love seat that fits right fits. in there. And a beautiful oh. antique glass blown light that's really fun and funky. I mean, this light, and I love um, how you wallpapered sort of the that oh, like, yes. interior window like so that. This is our Frida Pink wallpaper. Yes, this is Pepper Holmes. Yes, this is Pepper Holmes wallpaper. I love it. I love this pattern. And it's great because it has so many colors that you can pull from. As you can see, we pulled the greens, the blues, the browns, the pinks, and it all works well together. But this is one of our favorites. It's probably the best-selling one for nursery. Yes, it's a great pattern. And it comes in different, um, all of your wallpapers have beautiful colorways to them. Thank you. Yes, uh, this one actually comes in five different five colorways. colorways. Yeah, that's what There's I a, a neutral one, blue, green. We have... A lot of different things. fun options for everyone. And also we do custom colorways if you ever have your heart set. Oh, that's set. good to know. Yeah, if you ever have your heart set that. on a pattern but it want a different colorway, we can... You can do it. Do it custom. It's all printed to order, which is very eco-friendly using the latest digital printing technology. And, and that's the thing I think a lot of people should know is like everything's custom. Like my shower curtains are custom to my the height of my shower. Exactly, exactly. And then uh, the pillows, like you can see our pillows there. You can pick your trim, your size, insert, no insert. It's a really fun way to make your home yours, which is why which is what it is. It. Yes. <laughs> um, and then here we have our guest bedroom. This is featuring also another pepper. You can see I love wallpaper. Right. Um, this is another one of our wallpapers. This is ginger navy. I wanted this room to be a little bit like calm, soothing, since it's our guest bedroom. Um, these are our flower drapes with a fun olive pom pom, which then I used in the pillows mm -hmm. as well. So this is what I have for my shower curtains, except in the pom pom I have a tassel right here, but it's just so well made. I just can't emphasize that enough. Um, you have just really good manufacturers. It's perfect. Yeah, and it's all made here in the US. 
Which is and then here you'll see we have a Lumen Co rug, which I think helps tie it all together, the blues and the greens. Um, one of my favorite artists, Kimberly Moore, I actually commissioned her to do this artwork right here, again, to tie in all the colors. I wanted something a little bit more modern and a nice refresh against the pattern wallpaper. Really perfect against the wallpaper. And this fireplace, again. I original. know, I know. Original. Oh it's my gosh. Marble Look fireplace. It's closed, so not functioning, but I just, it's so quintessential New York, New York brownstone, which I love. This I is. love. Oh my gosh. No, it looks unbelievable. And then my the daughter's TV. played. Yep, yep. TP, yep. What's a darling um, TP? <laughs> oh, thank you. Yes, with all of her, all her little animals. All her little friends in there. No, it's just really, just a great space, too. Thank you. Were and bedroom then, sizes original, or did you expand them at all? <laughs> uh, actually, yeah. we, we did a fun renovation. So this bedroom was always quite large, which was nice. And then there used to be a smaller room next to it, and then the laundry room. And then there was a small bathroom on the other side. And what we did was we changed this into a Jack and Jill bathroom, okay. which is great for guests, as well as my daughter's bathroom. Um, as you, more pepper <gasps> wallpaper. This is one of my favorites. This is it. I love the colorway in here. I, yeah, I can tell you're a green person, too. I, I love, love I green. find it so soothing. It's neutral. Every shade. Yeah. And it's like a neutral. It's, yeah, I agree. That's my I love color. it. This um, mirror is unbelievable. Isn't that amazing? I, I actually got rabbits. that from an antique store on my way to Hudson Valley. I love it. It's really phenomenal. It's beautiful. And all it's beautiful. lovely hardware. It, again, it goes in character with the house. I picked out each of these antique <laughs> lights, the one up there, it's really our pretty. shower curtain, of course, and then a nice, nice well-used uh, uh, bathtub. <laughs> That's yes. for your sweet daughter. And then, and then it's a nice transition because we go from like navy to green to purple and green for my daughter's bedroom. Oh, this is lovely. And this is another pepper pattern, correct? This is. Uh, this is Marina. And I, I actually got those bookshelves from Etsy. I thought they were really cute. Those are great bookshelves. Just, I'll try to link those. For oh, yeah, them. definitely. Those are, really those are great. Yeah. They make them in different. Uh, it's, I think it's a husband and wife team and they make them in different shapes, but I thought they were a really cute touch and the scallops match the scallops of the, the rug, rug and then the lamp, or not the lamp, the uh, pendant. Is that a pendant, I guess? Uh, yes, a pendant, yes. thank you. <laughs> As well, As and well. then biscuit home sheets and then I actually painted that for my daughter when I was pregnant to match the room, Wait so that's why it matches you perfectly. You painted this? It's yeah. so pretty. Thank you. I, my eye was immediately drawn to it, but I also love lavenders and greens. Yeah, I just highlights. think it's an unexpected twist, um, but that is the Morgan Peck vase that's upstairs. And then... So then this, yeah, this used to be the laundry room and then now this is her room and here. You do these beautiful monogram pillows now. Yes, too, we do, are which are super popular. It's such a good gift too yeah. no. for our new baby. Um, and I love the pom-poms. I think it's such a sweet detail. Um, we have to talk yeah. about this. I didn't even notice this when I walked through with you earlier. <laughs> this is be stunning. Thank you. I actually am unsure of the source, but it came from my parents. My mother, I should mention, is an architect. Okay. Which is which is probably where yep, you get yep, this from. Definitely, I got uh, my love of home and design from my mother, who also loves pattern and wallpaper and thinks that every bathroom should be a jewel box. So I agree. That's the that's best. that's the woman behind everything. Um, oh, and this mirror is floor home, and I love. Also has a little scallop edge. A little to it scallop too. edge, and I think this paint is uh, Cooking Apple Green by Pharaoh and Ball, and then we did it on. The molding as well. Cooking to apple green. Yes. What a to tie name. it in together. Yeah. That is a name I remember because yeah. it's such a That's fun it. one. That's it. And, and then, then last but not least. Oh, I love the bedroom. red door. We're immediately oh, yes. in for some color. <laughs> <laughs> some more color. And you'll see there's the red stripe at the top. Should Let's we pop into this? Go into the bathroom. bathroom first. Speaking of jewel boxes. <laughs> Wow. This is our Daphne powder wallpaper. I just love the whimsy of it, the birds, the flowers. Oh, this is really pretty. 
And then, and then the great part about this, so we redid this bathroom during our latest renovation and our architects had the, a great idea of making this like an octagon room. So you'll see the shower has two slants. And then what we did was we were able to create both storage and then a toilet room in here. And then we mimicked that octagon shape with all the tile on the ground. And then these antique mirrors I found as well. Let's see. So octagon tiles. Yes. An octagon shaped bathroom and just really mirror. pretty light fixtures. Oh yes, I thought those were so fun. And the, it's like flower petals that mimic the wallpaper. I love all the hardware, really. It's Thank just you. great. And we have to talk about this window. Is that original or is that something you all added? We added that. It's um, such a fun, just, just for and to see. And you said it. This kind of opens up, or yes. Um, and then the window, when it's not a dreary, rainy day, it brings in a lot of natural light into here, which a pretty blue light. Too. Yes, exactly. Yeah. That's wonderful. And just, so it's like a rainfall shower. Is that right? It is. So. It is. We used all Waterworks fixtures. And then you I like the unlacquered brass. I think it just ages I like feels it. like it's true to the home i agree and these are um, great towel racks yes yes this is actually a towel warmer which towel is warmer. fun a nice antique dog bowl for my spoiled little guy <laughs> one in every room that's the way it should go oh yes and then now we hit such a play of yes color in here as well i love the red these sconces are beautiful i think it's so unexpected mm -hmm. which is Fun. And we added this thicker molding to the so to the top of the room, and then the nice little red stripe detail, which is super fun. This bed, it's a very fun whimsical headboard in the red velvet, and then our Eden blue Euro shams are in front. Oh, that's um, great. So yes, fun. you do wonderful Euro shams as well. And I love all the piping on the side. I mean, that's the thing. The quality is just so good. And I think the trim detail is something that's really hard to find mm -hmm. unless you're getting it made from a workroom um, through your interior designer. But we do offer piping. We offer fringe and pom-pom trim, which most people do get trim. I always it's get trim. It's a great trimmed. option. And it's fun to see the combinations mm -hmm. that people come up with. Pick out. It's Really I think this is great. I have one of your pillows on my sofa that I just love. It's green and it has a darker olive. I love the unexpected scale of this um, sort of bowl up on the wall oh, yeah. above the bed. I think that's really I just pretty. I love using ceramics as uh, decorative pieces as well. It's nice to mix it up. This and then, is fantastic. Is this some more this pepper? This is a nice little, yeah, <laughs> more pepper, of course. Nice little sitting room. Um, I got those fun lampshades actually on Etsy as well. Oh, amazing. And then this is our Alice wallpaper. Yeah, this is a great wallpaper. And another um, beautiful painting. Oh, thank you. I painted that You painted too. this? Yeah. Are you still painting? <laughs> I think we might get some requests. For I, uh, <laughs> it's, a, it's a little crazy to do everything, but it's my happy place, if you will, relaxing time. Oh. Um, and then the other thing that we did was we completely redid the backyard. There was some original brick that we were able to incorporate, uh, but we put the, ne the nice black staircase. Can we open then, the door yes. just for a second? I don't want them to have the glare on here. here I just would love see. it. It is a little bit of I a know, dreary it's day. Rainy. It's raining, um, but. And then it was very hard finding outdoor furniture that I loved, but I fell in love with this. It's iron. It's actually a very dark green. Oh, it's, so it's beautiful. Sort of matches You're our right, it is. Kitchen cabinets. And then we painted the fence this dark green as well, which I think helps make it look more natural. It looks super um, sophisticated. Too. I wish it wasn't so rainy and I cold, know. but that's... <laughs> it is what it is. And all but the I love the wind. Yes, <laughs> yeah. yes. Um, and it's just, it's so nice having this space. I mean, during COVID, we were so lucky. We moved here right before. Oh, and gosh. Having this space to be with my dog, my child out here, and we do a lot of entertaining, which yeah, is really always fun. Like and it's hard to do that in brain. New York. That's true. That yeah, is so having true. this outdoor space is a blessing. 
Well, this has yeah. been just totally lovely, Kelsey. Just thank you so much oh. for having us and to be able to see your beautiful home. And it's fun to be in New York. Thank you. And yes. In Brooklyn. Welcome to Brooklyn Heights. Well, it's been great to have you. It's hey. been great to have you. Thank you so much for having us. And I'll be sure to link all these pepper patterns Amazing. on a blog post so everyone can, can shop the look. Sounds Thanks, good. Kelsey. Thank you.